Today I'm going to share with you my technique to hide my turkey neck and my sagging gels right here. Yes, they are there. Yes, they drive me crazy. And yes, we are going to get into that. I am not doing the numbering system today because we have so few products. So you know that towards the end of the video, I also have a little peek at what I have on. I also accessorized my whole entire outfit at the end of the video. So if you're interested in that, just stick around till the end of the video and that will be there. We're going to just hop right into this. I'm using a BK Beauty 107 brush. It's kind of dense, but at the same time, it buffs out really well. And then I'm also using the Kiko Milano Sculpt Touch Creamy Contour Stick. And I believe this one is in chocolate. Now I'm gonna give you a little tip here. I never ever draw on my face with something like this. One, you don't know how your product is going to act unless you've been using it forever. But two, it does help for your product to warm up just a bit before you put it on your face for the blending process. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it in the palm of my hand and I'm just gonna scribble a bunch into there. And you might think this is wasteful. However, your product will not soak into the palm of your hand because the palm of your hand doesn't have any pores, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna start out by disguising my high forehead and just putting product up there into my hairline. I do this every day. Once you have that all done, pick up some more of that product, pinch your brush, and then I do my cheek contour. And for me, the cheek contour is laying the product down first with the brush and then just going in and sweeping upward instead of sweeping down and making it look even more muddy. If you have a round face, if you have a fat face, if you have a full face, any of those things, this is going to help disguise and it's just really pretty. Now this part, I probably have shown you before this is where you pick up more product you're gonna pinch that brush again and you're gonna look and see where this gel is right here that for me is kind of a fat pocket I don't even know how else to describe it other than it's just saggy right there so what I want to do is I want to completely connect the chin with the jaw right here and I want to disguise that part so the part that I want to disguise is what I'm going on top of and yet when I get to the chin, I'm going under the chin, not on top of the chin, and a little bit back. I'm not going all the way back. Once you get that done, then you're gonna go underneath the chin and you're gonna make a V right here. I start kind of in front of the jowl there and I make a V on this double chin. This drives me crazy. I do have a double chin, it's there, and it just absolutely drives me crazy. But what's beautiful about this is putting it into a V draws your eye down and it also looks like a shadow. And then I'm going to bring it down my neck, down the turkey neck, so I'm disguising that a little bit as well. Now at this point, I know I've got enough on. I'm gonna take a little bit of what's on my brush off on a towel and then I'm just going to blend this. You're gonna to wanna to blend it until it gets very, very soft. You don't want a line of demarcation. You don't wanna look like you've got the stop in your foundation and then you know you got that whole mess with foundation and it can get that way it can be really hard to master this but the mastery is in just blending blend it until you feel like it's completely seamless and then that also goes for all the other parts of your face where you have just put that contour now here's where the magic happens because what we wanna do is we want to still take our eye away from this neck. So if we lift up this face a little bit, then it's going to disguise what we have down here. So now I'm gonna make sure my hand is very, very clean. Usually use a makeup wipe for this, but I'm make sure my hand's really clean. I'm gonna use a lighter concealer. This one is from Koki. And I'm gonna put that in my hand. And then I'm gonna pick that up on the edge. This is a BK Beauty 109 brush. This is the one they just came out with not long ago. It's just such a nice pairing with all their other products. I love it. And what I'm gonna do is towards this cut end of that is where I'm going to pick up product. And I wanna distribute it along the edge of there. I don't want to really get too crazy down in the brush. And I also want to make sure that I am only picking up a small amount because, you know, it's easier to put back on than take away. Now, I want you to take from the corner of your mouth, flip it so it's upwards, take that brush and just draw a line. And this is a little bit harder. You can use a more precision brush if you want to. This one just seems to work for me. And I just take and I make a line right there. Just a little bit. It's not a lot. Now, I've got still got quite a bit on my brush and I don't want 
to be putting more on my face. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to wipe it off again until the brush feels clean. And then I'm going to just go ahead and buff this out. You can take it back if you want to, but you're going to want to really buff it. What's nice about this for me as well, not only does it help disguise the area of the jowls, you know, pulling the eye up, is it also helps because I have a lot of discoloration in this area. Now, I did take away a little bit of my contour on this side, so I'm going to build it up just a little bit again. Now, what I've done is I've pulled those jowls up. So now you're seeing that my face looks thinner through here. This part of my face where the jowls and the turkey neck and the double chin are, that illusion is a little bit receding and this is brighter. So you're pulled to this area of the face and then all you do is just add some black blush and a highlighter if you want to. Now again on your blush I'm taking a stipple brush but when you pick up blush you're still picking up probably too much so tap that into your hand a little bit of a side tip on blush and then you're not going to get too much blush on your cheeks. It's good to be able to pull everything together so if you want to kind of dust this over your eyes over your nose a little bit and then over your chin you can definitely do that with your blush and you're just kind of bringing all of it together you can also use that in your hairline where you put the other contour i just got this nars light reflecting powder i'm going to go in with this fluffy brush from sony kashik that you can get at target i'm going to very lightly set all of my makeup and underneath my eyes since i hadn't done that yet okay so i'm going to show you from the side each side what that makeup looks like and then also from the underneath so that you can see that it doesn't look like you've got a demarcation line it just looks like you're all sculpted all right that's it for the tutorial let's take a peek at what i have on for an outfit today okay the top that i have on is actually a bodysuit and it's those ones that everybody has been talking about on social media instagram and TikTok about you know really cinching in your waist the problem with me is i'm a little bit more of a busty girl and they cinch that in too I don't mind it too much, but it definitely, you know, flattens the girls a little bit. So the first time it does take a little bit of stretching to get you into it. They do come in a two pack. This one came with a white one. There's brown, gray, and black, pink, another pink, and the white and cream. So there's several colors that you could try if you wanted to. Then my jeans are just a pale wash jean and they have a lot of stretch in them. They have three buttons right here at the waist. I would say that this isn't a high waist. This is probably a mid-rise jean. They are the skinny jeans and then that's the rear view mirror of it. <laughs> also, I have on some really fun cute boots. They're a suede boot. They do have the faux fur around them. They're not leather, just so you know that. I actually sized up on these. I think I have a size. If they don't have the half size, Stick with your regular size. Don't like go from 9 to 10 like I did. Let's just pair this with a little quilted vest. I think this is a lot of fun for winter. I believe I bought mine in large because vests usually run a little bit small on me, but I really like this one as well. And then we're also going to pair it with a really cute little quilted bag with a chain and it's black and I probably could have worn gray with it. This was the color that I had. So that is the outfit. Let's take a look at the jewelry I had on. This is my necklace. This is a one piece necklace. So it has two chains on it. It's silver. I believe that it does come in gold. And then it has a little puff heart right here on the chain. And then this is a smaller herringbone chain that's up there. I also have on heart hoop earrings. I have them in all three colors, the silver color, the gold color, and the rose gold color. I just love these and wear them all the time. All right, that's it for the video today. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of my tips for taking care of a turkey neck, sagging jowls, and a double chin. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know down in the comment section. Hope you're having a really great day. Take care of yourselves. Come back around. We'll be together very soon. I love you much. Goodbye, my friends.